Who'd win in a fight? SEC Coaches Edition. What's up, it's your boy Mayhem Matthew. Today, I have with me Christian Ballard of Ballard Sports Media. We are going to do a uh, coaches edition on who would win in a fight. We're going to do it tournament style, just like, you know, every single year we have a Final Four playoff. In 2024, we will have a 12-team playoff. So we're going to do this playoff style here. Who would win in a fight? and who would come out victorious on top in the SEC. So, um, Ballard, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, man. Ready to see who'd win in a fight. you got to love a good matchup. And uh, these coaches, obviously, are pretty strong in the SEC. And uh, I can't wait to see them go head-to-head here. <laughs> right. So this is kind of a silly little video. You know, um, uh, this weekend – um, you know, you just want to relax and uh, kind of do this silly little video. Um, if you like this content, please smash the thumbs up. And if you really like this content, hit the subscribe button. Also, subscribe to my boy, right there, Christian Ballard of Ballard Sports Media. So, uh, you know, I really appreciate him coming on and doing this video with me. We are going to be um, pairing these coaches up in the first round by age. Okay, so oldest to youngest, uh, and we just paired them up like that. We're using the four, 14 teams, coaches, not the 16, because uh, they're not in the SEC quite yet. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Round one, all right? You got Nick Saban. Nick Saban versus Brian Kelly. Who'd win? All right, so – you know me, I'm an Alabama guy. Everybody knows I'm an Alabama guy. But as Coach Saban says, the old feller doesn't and, – and fill in the blank. He says they don't make them like they used to. Brian Kelly's on the rise with LSU, man. He's got a punch in him. I got to take Brian Kelly right here in the first round. Yeah, I would totally agree with you. You know, Nick Saban looked pretty beat up in that – in, in that Auburn game that you were referring to, you know, uh, he took a couple hits there to the nose. But, um, yeah, I think uh, Brian Kelly for sure wins this matchup. You know, you look at the uh, Texas game, Brian, uh, Nick Saban, um, he didn't look uh, like he was uh, fully healthy there. Uh, looked like he was about to pass out or something. So, yeah, I'm taking Brian Kelly. So, Brian Kelly, and I'm writing these down. Uh, for the second round in that. So Brian Kelly moves on uh, to the second round. Up next, we have Sam Pittman versus Jimbo Fisher. Who wins? I'm going to go ahead and tell you my thoughts on this. This is a slobber knocker, um, you know, if you ask me, uh, because Sam Pittman, he's a tough man. Jimbo Fisher, whether you like him or not, tough man. Uh, I'm going Jimbo Fisher here, man. What do you think? I think this has got to be the first one we disagree on. I understand Jimbo Fisher's experience in the SEC, but Sam Pittman, we're not talking about their football teams. We're talking about themselves. And if they actually got into a fight, Sam Pittman's a bad man. Looks like he's pretty tough. I got to go with the Arkansas coach. Yeah, so uh, this is our first disagreement, but it's okay. We're going to talk this out. We're going to come to terms, okay? We're going to accept the terms of agreements here. This is why I believe that Jimbo's going to whoop Sam Pittman's rear end. Whenever that press conference came out, Nick Saban versus Jimbo, Jimbo wanted to come across that screen and whoop some Nick Saban tail. He just did. Yeah. Uh, and. Yeah. He was he was that homegrown, cornbread fed uh, guy in Jimbo Fisher. Uh, I I don't know Jimbo Fisher to me sounds like I mean maybe listen he might be just all talk no game. Sam Pittman, you know he might be the guy that's you know sitting back there like okay I wish you would hit me. I mean I I'm, I don't know. Uh, tell me your argument on Sam Pittman. I think Jimbo's just the cornbread fed. 
<laughs> I can't even think about this without laughing, but I just think Sam Pittman's a little bit younger. First off, he's got to be a little bit younger. Well, actually, let, let's be honest. I don't know who's older between the two, but um, I, I just think Jimbo has kind of lost his taste. Uh, when you look at college football, he might have won a national title at Florida State. He's nowhere near doing the same thing at Texas A&M. Neither is Arkansas, though, but somebody's got to win in a fight. Sam Pittman is a big guy. Sam Pittman is tough. He is stronger than Jimbo Fisher, and that's why he wins this round. All right, I'm going to give it to Sam Pittman, um, you know, because my boy Ballard uh, talked me into it there. So Sam because Pittman. Because I said so. <laughs> Sam Pittman <laughs> moves on uh, to round two to face Mr. Brian Kelly. So next up in round one, we have Mark Stoops versus Hugh Freeze. Hugh Freeze has been in the SEC before. This is his first time back in the SEC. Mark Stoops and that Kentucky Wildcat team. I'm going to go ahead and say Hugh Freeze, man. Uh, Mark Stoops, he might be yeah. a big body. I think Hugh Freeze might be faster. His agility might be up there. Stamina, I think he can, I think he can wear down Mark Stoops. I got Hugh Freeze in this one. I'm with you on Hugh Freeze, man. Look, he has some SEC experience. I think he's learned from his time at Ole Miss and his time at Liberty. I think he's out to prove that he's one of the best. And when you put him up against Mark Stoops, Mark Stoops going to put up a fight, but it's not going to be enough. Hugh Freeze is a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher, and Auburn's just a better program than Kentucky right now, if you ask me. So give me Hugh Freeze of the Auburn Tigers. For sure. So Hugh Freeze rolls into the second round. And uh, up next, we got my coach, my head coach, back-to-back -back national championship winning head coach versus Lane Kiffin. <laughs> Listen, I understand Kirby Smart is a two-time back-to-back national champion, arguably and the best head coach heading into 2023. Uh, listen, Kirby Smart is a football genius, all right? But I have to go Lane Kiffin here. I think Lane Kiffin wins in the fight. Listen, I know that Kirby Smart has some hops, and whenever you've seen that third in Ringo and Kirby Smart jumped almost to the moon, I understand that. He got he got the hops. I think Lane Kiffin's got the speed, though. I mean, Kirby Smart. Listen, Kirby Smart's very fast too. Do not get me wrong. He was very. He's still very fast. I think Lane Kiffin got him on this one. I love Lane Kiffin, but I think I got to disagree with you on this one too. Kirby Smart over Lane Kiffin, but it'll be close. It'll be a showdown. It'll be not necessarily a knockout. Here's the thing about Kirby Smart, man. Uh, he's tough. He's a fighter. He don't quit. And he does have back-to-back -back national championships. Why would you not consider him to be a tough guy? I'm going with Kirby. All right. I'm going to go Kirby just because I'm a Georgia Bulldog fan. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take my man Kirby Smart. But I don't know. Something about Lane Kiffin. Listen, and this is non-biased towards football, but listen. Lane Kiffin, I don't know. He's he's slim, trim, fast. I don't know. He he might be able to get in there, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go Kirby Smart because he is my my head coach in that. So Kirby Smart moves to the next round. Uh, Hugh Freeze versus Kirby Smart in round two. In round one, you got Ooh. Josh Heupel versus Shane Beamer. Shane Beamer, and it's no question. I really feel like I could hold my own and be okay with all 13 other ones in that room. I mean, there'd be some battles, but, but uh, you know, there's a few in particular that I would be a priority at the top of the list. 
I fully agree with you. Have you seen Josh Heupel? I love that guy, and I'm sure he's got a bright future with Tennessee. But Shane Beamer, man, he's staying young. He's staying healthy. Josh Heupel looks like Bobby Hill from King of the Hill, man. I'm telling you like it is, okay? So give me Shane Beamer and those South Carolina chickens. I mean, Gamecocks. For sure. So Shane Bieber runs to round two. Up next in round one, we got Clark Lee versus Billy Napier. Listen, this is, uh, I don't know. To me, who's more intimidating to me? I know Vanderbilt sucks, but Clark Lee looks way more intimidating than Billy Nappy Hair. Uh, I, I'm going to go Clark Lee here. You look at his face, and we shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but I'm going to agree with you on this one, too. Clark Lee looks like he could whoop some tail, man. Don't mess with Clark Lee, man. He's got that look in his face like, hey, 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 hey. You know, uh, he just looks that way. I I I'd be intimidated, too, if I was a Vanderbilt player. All or right. Player in this case. In the last one in round one, we have Zach Arnett versus Eli Drinkwitz. This is – I'm going to let you take the reins on this one. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, two young guys, uh, both in their uh, mid to late 30s. Um, who wins, man? Zach Arnett does not have as much experience as Eli Drinkwitz. Uh, Zach Arnett's new to the game. Eli Drinkwitz still kind of new to the game. Like you said, it's almost a coin flip. I'm gonna have to go Eli on this one. I'm gonna go Drinkwitz. Yeah, I mean he does, he will pull he will pull out he will pull out his lightsaber and and uh <laughs> what did he do uh the the I don't know but yeah I'm gonna go Eli Drinkwitz with you as well. Okay, moving on to round two, I guess. Yes, moving on to round two. This is not the best playoff bracket um, because in the second round, we, we had one less. We only had seven. So I had to give Eli the bye week because he is the youngest out of all of them. Just want to clear that confusion up before people come and type in my comment section. In round two, Brian Kelly versus Sam Pittman. It's getting oh, harder and harder. I don't know. I I didn't like Sam Pittman the first time, so I'm going Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly's going to uh, beat Sam Pittman. I I don't I don't I, listen. I picked Sam Pittman in round one. Uh, that's just because I gave you credit there, Ballard. But I don't know. Brian Kelly is tough. Brian Kelly is a tough son of a gun. I will give you that credit. I love Sam Pittman, though. I love his character. I love his grit, his integrity. I love his team. You can't hate Arkansas. I don't love him in this round of the fight, though. Uh, I got to go Brian Kelly. All right. Brian Kelly moves on to round three. Wow. Old guy moving on to round three. Up next, you got Hugh Freeze and Kirby Smart. This is a great matchup right here. Oh, Great man. matchup. I want to know your thoughts. Give me your thoughts. Like I said, Hugh Freeze has SEC experience. So does Kirby Smart. You're talking about a back-to-back -back national championship coach against a guy that has winning record against some SEC teams and Hugh Freeze. This is a tough call here. Uh, I'm going to go Hugh Freeze on this one. I'm a, I, I believe in Hugh Freeze. You know what? I really didn't like Kirby. This is the same situation. I didn't like Kirby Smart in the first round. Um, I'm going Hugh Freeze. Listen, I'm so sorry, Kirby Smart. I'm sorry, Kirby Smart. I'm sorry. Yeah, you better kiss up to I him got, now. I got to go Hugh Freeze right here. Uh, Hugh Freeze, man, uh, we're, we're not talking about football, okay? We're talking about who can put up the knuckles and have a fish fight. Hugh Freeze wins and moves right. on to round three. All right. In round two, we got Shane Beamer versus Clark Lee. This is probably – listen, I'm going to be honest with you. 
if these two was not paired up, they would be in the championship round. That's just my yeah. opinion. But somebody's got to win. Somebody has got to win. I'm going, ooh, I want to get your I, I don't know. Uh I want I want your thoughts. Ah, I want to get I want to get your thoughts on it. I gotta think okay, about okay. it. Okay. I gotta think about it too. Um Shane Beamer, a little bit more scrawnier than than Clark Lee. You know, he's got good size though. Got, you know, got some muscle in him. Shane Beamer, I love his character, love his attitude. Love him as a head coach. I think he's doing great things in South Carolina. But my gut instinct says who went in a fight? I'm going to go Clark Lee. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I guess Sorry, I'm going to I'm gonna have to go Clark. I'm going to have to go Clark Lee here. Round three. Brian Kelly. Versus you freeze. Now it's getting tough. Now it's really heating up, man. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Hugh Freeze here. I'm gonna take Hugh Freeze. Hmm. I think Brian Hugh Kelly Freeze, Hugh Freeze I, and Brian I'm, Kelly. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Brian Kelly what is the Cinderella in this playoff run, okay? He was not really supposed to make it to round three. Older guy. Hugh Freeze wins. Goes on to the next round. Brian Kelly, Cinderella, finally ends right now. Right now. They say the, the old saying is history repeats itself. <laughs> but how many times in history, look at March Madness, look at the playoffs. How many times has the Cinderella team actually gone all the way with this one? Who you got? I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna say Hugh Freeze. All right, Hugh Freeze, man. Sorry, Brian Kelly. Yeah, out of here, son. Clark Lee and Eli Drinkwitz. Mm. Okay. I'm going Clark Lee. Clark Lee, and it's really no. Uh, it's really it's not. I don't know. I mean, Eli, he's younger than Clark Lee, but Clark Lee. I'm telling you, Clark think- Lee. Listen, Clark Lee looks tough and looks like he wants to get into a fist fight. He looks like it. Yeah, I'm gonna go Clark Lee too. Clark Lee. So we have our championship round. No, you, you freeze, you freeze, and Clark Lee. Oh. Let's talk about it, man, before we make picks. Like, how did we get here, you know? How did I get here? I, I'm going to give you a rundown, right? Shane Beamer lost to Clark Lee in the in the second round, okay? Uh, first round beat Eli. Uh, no. Uh, Eli beat Zach Arnett, so Clark Lee beat Billy Napier. I would say that Clark Lee has faced some dudes in Billy Napier and Shane Beamer, and then he beat a young guy in Eli Drinkwitz. So Clark Lee's a tough guy. Let's see how did Hugh Freeze get here. Listen, Hugh Freeze beat a back-to-back national championship head coach, very smart, quick on his feet. He's got some hops, okay? That's not an easy win. In the first round, in the first round, who did uh, Hugh Freeze? Hugh Freeze beat Mark Stoops. Uh, I guess you could say that was somewhat of an easy win. There. So that's how we got here. Um, Hugh Freeze had to beat Brian Kelly. Brian Kelly is the Cinderella. Who had the easier path? I guess you could say Clark Lee, but... Whenever you talk about the easier path, you beat. The only reason why I would give Clark Lee the easy, the easier path, and that's not really easier, technically, because Eli Drinkwitz had a a fight off to prepare for Clark Lee. So 
I wouldn't say that's necessarily a, I, I don't know. I think they're pretty evenly. I'm going to say they're evenly matched on how they got here. But who would be more beat up? Clark Lee or Hugh Freeze? Who would be more beat up uh, going into this championship round? That's the question. I need I need your thoughts on that. So we're talking about SEC coaches and fist fights, and now you want me to evaluate who would be more beat up between Clark Lee and Hugh Freeze. I think Clark Lee would take a severe beating more so than Hugh Freeze would, my personal opinion. And I think I, if it's okay, I'd like to go ahead and move Hugh Freeze on to the next round. Give me Hugh Freeze over Clark Lee. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Hugh Freeze over Clark Lee, man. Ooh. It's bold. It's bold. I'm not I don't know if I'm ready to say that. Clark Lee has that. I know he's from Vanderbilt. And I know Vanderbilt on does Vanderbilt does not win anything in football. And he has a lot of pent up anger. He listen. He has been told that he's no good. Okay, yeah. he's been told that Vanderbilt sucks multiple times. Okay, he has a lot of pent up anger in him. <laughs> you yeah. freeze. You freeze. Is being a little bit overhyped at Auburn. Wouldn't you agree? In his first year, I agree. I agree. He, he just, he literally just got a new quarterback. He's on top of the world. Clark yeah. Lee is is a severe underdog in this. I'm liking Clark Lee, man. I, I just, I just love Clark Lee's attitude. You know, last off season, Clark Lee said that you know Vanderbilt is built to win national championships, and while that is wrong. While that is wrong, okay, I still love his attitude. I love his demeanor. I love okay. Clark Lee, man. You're the one running this show, so I'm going to let you get the final say. Who All moves right. on? Clark Lee. All right. Listen, Vanderbilt wins nothing in football, but his but the head coach – of Vanderbilt wins the who win in a fight coaches edition. Clark Lee is your uh, first annual champion here on the Eat'em Dogs channel. Any last words, Ballard? Thanks for having me on. I appreciate you, brother. I love you and your content. And y'all need to subscribe to Eat'em Dogs, Mayhem Matthew, whatever he's calling himself these days, man. You got to hit that subscribe button because he puts in the work and he uh, posts out good content. I love you, bro. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. And subscribe to Ballard Sports Media, Christian Ballard, whatever he calls himself. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, everybody subscribe to both of us. Like the content. And uh, as a Georgia man, uh, go dogs. Roll Tide.